the day was, was a crazy day, really. I had like six different customer calls and all of them were about smoke and fire detection systems. I don't know what's going on right now, but people are uh, hyped about this solution. I mean, they are looking for, for some kind of solution for, for this kind of problem. And I understand them. That's that's why I, I decided to, to record this video because they are asking basically, Mateusz, why do you like Skylar smoke and fire detection system so much? Or what is the difference about the smoke and fire? Because the, the people that know me, they, they know that I hate, I, I mean, previously, <laughs> I, I wasn't so eager to, to sell smoke and fire solutions. And that was because most of them, and I think, I don't know if all of them, but most of those solutions that I worked with, those were based on some fancy object detection and pixel-based analytics. Though I know that some of them are called intelligent smoke and fire detection or even AI technology-based. But to be honest, it's there is nothing with the AI. And what is the difference between their solution and 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 Skyla smoke and fire um, detection, and I, I can show you what is the actual difference. So first of all, let's take this one uh, solution in, in and check it out. So this is intelligent camera based smoke and fire detection, and uh, you need to be aware that I'm choosing this camera because lots of people think that this is the best smoke and fire detection there is. I know that in Poland they have those cameras installed in some tunnels, uh, in some factories, and so on, because they think that it's it's really great. But if you want to install this camera, of course you need to follow the user manual, installation manual. And how does it look like? So first of all, uh, when you open this manual, you need to follow all the steps to to configure the camera in a proper way. So you will see something like this. Oh, you need to install the camera the proper way. So you need to uh, consider the, the angle of the installation of the camera because uh, you, it cannot be top view. So for example, you cannot use something like this, right? We have this one recording from the shop and there is fire of the, of the iPhone, I think. And yeah, the camera is looking from the top. So something like this, it's it's no go. Or for example, this one also, right? It will not detect like smoke and fire because you need something like less than 37.5 degrees. Otherwise it will not be detected. And that's it. No, actually there are many points more. So for example, this one, it looks complicated. You need to calculate the proper density of the smoke. So the smoke needs to be dense. Of course, you can use this kind of formula, but also this is the example. So they state that the smoke needs to be at least 40 degrees, 40% uh, uh, of density. So for example, I have this one, a nice video here, and uh, you cannot use the smoke and fire detection on this kind of video. And I know that you have the hard time to distinguish and or or to find out where the smoke is, but the smoke actually is, is here. It's starting from this garage here. Uh, I think I can zoom in this video a little bit. So just give me a second. Yeah, this is it. So if I play this one, you can see the faint smoke going on from the garage here. And it's getting bigger a little bit, but still it's, it's not 40%. And the scene is quite big, right? Later it gets it gets really rough, but here, when you should react, when you should get the alarm, it's not so big. And this is the problem for for this kind of um, uh, analytics. So what else? Uh, let me get to this. Uh, of course, uh, the color saturation. So you need to take care about the colors. So you need to be careful with your camera installation because it needs to be the proper lighting conditions. What else? The smoke needs to move up, not to the to the camera or to the side of the camera because this kind of smoke cannot be detected. What else? Uh, you need to be careful with the objects that are moving in a similar way to smoke. For example, escalator. I have no idea who thought that the escalator will 
actually I have the uh, yeah so for example you cannot use this kind of video for smoke and fire I know this is some stupid prank from from YouTube don't ask me if this is the best footage of the escalator that I have found out but you cannot use this kind of escalator uh, footage or point out the camera on something like this because the moving escalator for the camera this looks like a smoke I have no idea why they are thinking this but this is something that is uh, quite common what else uh, you need to make sure that the camera is mounted properly so it's it's fixed it's not moving it's not shaking so you need to forget about the videos like this right so everything is moving because somebody is recording this phone using his phone so everything is moving and yeah there is a fire or for example here again the camera is moving because somebody is recording the screen of the monitor right and here also the smoke is is blue it's not it's not white so also some other systems will have the problem to to detect this kind of uh, this kind of smoke and like i said the proper lighting conditions uh, and the temperature of the light because otherwise you will have no detections of the smoke or, or, or the fire so lots of different things you need to take care of and this is one of the best camera on the market how about the software this is something from the software that i was using before and it's, it's not getting easier so you can use any camera to the software you can connect this camera to the software but first of all of course camera needs to be fixed it cannot be a camera that is moving so here is like ptz so you need to set up the preset points and this ai which is not ai will try to find the smoke in those different scenes so you cannot for example use different scenarios where the camera is uh, is, is moving even right like i, I showed you the, the, the footage before what else of course the automatic gain control so you need to take care of the lighting uh, backlight compensation you need to be careful about this one you need to be uh, careful with the illumination of the of the scene so there cannot be any changes in the in the um, in the lighting with the camera of course the, you need to uh, install the camera so there are no transit vibrations so the camera cannot be shaking like i showed you before and you need to be careful with the lens of the camera it needs to be clear you need to need it to good quality and so on so on because this is not everything right because the smoke needs to be minimum area of 600 pixels so it cannot be too small and uh, again the stairs i have no idea why the stairs are so I, I actually i know because they are just counting the pixels that are moving up and for them this is smoke right this is nothing with the ai and so on so on so you need to take care of all those things actually and the the, the biggest downside of most of those solutions if you check the manual they need at least five to even ten seconds of smoke and fire for a detection so they need five seconds of recording or ten seconds of of visible smoke for a detection and you know what i don't care about all those things because this is this is now is the the difference between all of this which is last century and the true power of ai so to show you the difference to uh, i created this video so i took everything from those user manuals everything that is a problem for those solutions and i created the the hell video for them so everything that could be a problem for example uh the like like here the fire is is really small or you have the top view of the camera or like here or for example the camera is moving also they are asking for the camera to be stationary so the camera cannot move but actually like you can see here if if this video is 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 camera stream it means that the scenes are changing a lot all the time so you have the different lighting conditions you have different angles uh, the, lots of movement on the scene because everything is moving actually with this one so i created this video to emulate all the problems that are occurring with this one i can i, I have even this this escalator video here to check for the false alarms and then 
as you can see, this is this is basically VLC. So what I did, I used this video, and I created camera from it. What you can see here, it's uh, it's a dashboard from Asteria L uh, from Skyra, and on this Asteria you can uh, run any almost any analytics that you want that that uh, that Skyra has in, in in portfolio. So what you can see here, I have this one smoke and fire detection system which is enabled. And I basically just added this RTSP stream, as you can see here. So I'm just streaming this video to the Asteria, and Asteria thinks that this is a camera, but this is not ordinary camera, right? It's just not it's not normal camera. It's actually all those videos played together one by one. The second thing that I did, it's as you can see here, this is the only configuration that you can do. So from the settings, you can just choose the settings for the intrusion detection, traffic flow, or facial recognition, but those are the basic settings that you can actually set up. For smoke and fire, there is almost nothing. For the smoke and fire, you just need to wait for the frame, of course, and then you just draw the area for the detection. And here, for example, we are using almost the whole screen from 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 the camera so like in this kind of scene uh, i can even uh, put a sky for the analytics right and moving clouds to check if if the algorithm will detect those clouds as a as a smoke so basically this is this is what i did i just add this rtsp stream draw the the detection area and that's it and here in this uh, this dashboard you have the alarm management and in the alarm management uh, what we can see here is uh, the detection area so on the left side you have the all the alarms that you received on the on the asteria on the right side you see current live view from the camera so actually this is the rtsp stream that it's streaming so let's check the detections that i had from from this uh, this video i think i started somewhere around here yeah no not here, I think it was even previous one. Let's check. Yeah, it was somewhere. Yeah, it was somewhere here. So, yeah, this is obviously fire. But what you can see here, you see this green area. This means that I'm not changing the setup whatsoever. I, I'm not touching anything. So this video is streaming all the time. And now we can check all the detections that I received. As you can see here, this is the, the house. So from here, there is uh, this, this smoke with uh, density, right? They required like 40% density here. The density is it's much, uh, much smaller, but still I have the detection without any problem. Uh, what else we have here? So let's go here, for example. Yeah, so again, just a detection from different angle. So the scene is changing, the lighting conditions are changing, but still we're getting all the detections without any problem. Here we have this video that I show you that uh, it's it's shaking a lot, right? Because somebody is recording this using their cell phone and they are recording the screen from the monitor and the smoke is actually blue, not white. And still we had no problem with detecting this one or like here, the top view of the, of the camera. So we have the fire detection. Let's see. Again, so this is the footage from the shop. Again, detection. This is from home. Okay. This is again the top view from the camera. Yeah, this is also nice, right? They require 600 pixels to detect the fire. Here, how much is it? I think around 150 pixels, maybe. Still, no problem with the detection. Here, the top view of the cell phone, like I told you, no problem. And this is how we benchmark the solution. That's why I know that it's it's, it's great. That's why I, I changed my mind about the smoke and fire detections because with this one, you don't need to worry about this complicated configuration. What you need to do is just set up the, the system. You just need to add the camera. You need to, of course, uh, care about the uh, quality of the camera, the lighting condition and things like this. But this is only to make sure that you will get the detection right. But 
still it will not affect the number of for example false positives and as you can see here with with this explosion we had like one second detection so the number of false negatives where you miss the incident because you need 10 seconds like from this other solution here you can detect everything even with like one second or two seconds again this one what else we have here also here the detection again the the, the scene is changing there is lots of movement people are moving around uh, like they said, the, the backlight. You need to be careful with the backlight. You cannot have the total white uh, scenes on the on, on the on the camera because it will trigger some false alarms. With this solution, no false alarms on this one. Yeah, and as you can see, there are no false alarms on uh, on escalator. Hmm, strange, right? Actually, it's not strange because there will be no false alarms on the escalator because this is like I said AI based and not some fancy pixel so if you want to give it a try if you want to check this kind of solution if you want to check if it's really true if it's really working so well please reach to uh, to Skyla you can write an email you can find your local uh, sales representative and you can just buy one Asteria L for example and it will help you out with testing all those uh, different modules and AIs because this is the only the smoke and fire, right? And you can get much, much more actually. And you can really start your business, grow your business based on all those new modules and, and the AI. You just need to include AI in your, in your daily business. So yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to, to reach to me. Bye.